Can you give me those plugs right there? Make sure you're on. I think I might have turned off. No, that's all. Okay. All right, guys. So you're pretty much going to be doing the same thing every single play as a referee. Can you go back up just a little bit? <laughs> Your two best friends right here, orange and yellow cones right here. So at the beginning of every play, you're going to set the cones. That's your job as referee. Set a spot. Let's say this is a 20-yard line to gain right here. The first thing you do every single time, you're going to say, first down, 20-yard line to gain. And if it's a code right game, you're going to say whether it's open or closed. So first down, 20-yard line to gain. This play is open. And then you blow your whistle, chop the clock, and then that's where we're going to start off with the play right there. So it's pretty simple. Get used to it. You're going to be saying it every single night, and your voice is going to be dry by the end of the night. And you know it, it sucks, but it's going to happen. Uh, next up, your responsibilities as the referee. So pretty much, let's say that's the line of scrimmage right here. Just say I'm all the way back there off the field. This is your line right here. So you're pretty much watching for a false starts, any of the fields or mishaps uh, penalties. So if there's a legal snatch or whatever that, false start, any of those, you're going to blow it dead because you have a better look at the line of scrimmage. Even though your, your back judge is going to be on the other side, he has a look at it too, but that's, that's going to be primarily your call. Um, let's see. Rushing. So this is 44, so there's no contact and there's no rushing the passer. So your job is just also to make sure that the defense doesn't pass the line to get to the offense. And you also got to make sure that a quarterback does not pass the line of scrimmage as well. Um, let's see. Um, actually, you already saw this in a bunch of videos. The referee has to be really good about counting out the seconds for the quarterback so he knows how much time. So as soon as the play starts, as soon as they snap the ball, you're going to yell like five, four, three, two, one, all the way down. And like Andy, Brian said, and Laura said, just give them about a half second extra while you're putting that whistle in your mouth to blow it for them to throw the ball. Uh, okay, your entire coverage area is pretty much just going to be this your back area. Back judge is going to have defense. They're going to have all the long passes, all the uh, wide receivers. This is going to be main concern up until the ball is thrown. Whenever the ball is thrown, you can move from your spot. Unless there is a penalty back there, you can go ahead and move from your spot and follow the running play in, ca in case your back judge is already like, down the field. Um, let's see. So, yeah, you're watching the quarterback the entire time up until the ball is thrown. You're looking for a legal four passes, uh, flag guarding on a running play. Let's see. Okay, after the play is over, before you move the pucks, make sure you look at your back judge and make sure there's no penalties on the field. Because there are, and you already moved your spot, then you don't know where to enforce it from. Just in case it is from the previous spot, you don't want to mess that up. So also, always look for the penalties first. Always look for the flags and then enforce it and then move the pucks. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, example of that. So let's say we have an illegal contact. Let's say we have flag guarding on the, uh, let, no, actually, let's go back. Let's say we had a legal contact on the offense and uh, they had already passed the line of scrimmage. So let's say the spot was right here. They had the illegal contact. You're gonna wanna know what the previous spot is. You're also gonna know where the foul is from. So you're gonna come right here. You're gonna ask the defense, do you wanna accept the penalty? They're gonna say yes. They're gonna say no. They're probably gonna accept it most likely. That's when you go ahead. You're gonna take the putts. You're gonna take the pucks. Your back judge is gonna have that spot for you. Go to the line, go to the spot of penalty, and you're going to walk back, what is it, five, yard, five yards for a legal contact. So it's, so you're just going to come right here, you're just going to yell at one, one, two, three, four, five, set it down, and then another yard apart, your defensive line. And then you're going to say, first down, 20 yard line to gain, play is open or closed, but before that you're also going to yell at the penalty. So you're going to say there was a legal contact on the offense, penalty is a five yard penalty, I, yeah, I think that's right, yeah, it's a five yard penalty. Uh, replay, second down, or whatever it was, and then you're going to continue on with the play. Um, let's see. All right, if there's no penalty flags, you just continue on as regular. You're just going to pick up the pucks, and you're going to go to the spot that your back judge is holding. So let's say, let's say Laura is the one holding my spot. You can come right here, look for her. She's going to hold it. You're going to come right here. You're going to walk up until she chops, and then you set it down. One part. It's going to be like that every single time. Uh, let's see. Okay. okay, on the goal line, let's pretend this is the goal line, which this actually is the goal line. So let's say you're on the goal line. Let's say, here you go, this is the play. This is where the play is started right now. Your job 
as uh, your job is referee, it's going to straddle the goal line as soon as the play begins. So you're going to be right here at first up until the play starts. As soon as the play starts, try to come as close to the goal line so you can see if that ball passes the line. Your back judge is going to be a little bit further out just in case there's a pass. But uh, just make sure you see that goal line because as soon as the ball passes, it's where the ball is, not the player. As soon as the ball passes, it's a touchdown, and we need someone to be able to see that. And... Oh, wait. That's it. Yes. Let's go.